Hi there, today we're unboxing a Moto G4 Play. So just purchased a few days ago um, from Vodafone. And the deal was, it's not unlocked, it's locked to their network and you have to buy £10 credit to go with it. So, I've uh, cut open the box already. Let's see what you get in the packaging. So obviously the phone. Very light, good size to it. Uh, I think it's a five inch screen from what I recall. Let's go into the detail. Yep, five inch, Some battery power, cameras. Um, so back camera is eight uh, megapixel, front camera is five megapixel, and it's a quad core and micro SD card on there as well. Um, other thing to mention is internal memory is 16 gig, which I thought was pretty good. And there you go, that's the first thing in the packaging. And then we have README set of instructions, I guess. Safety, regulatory and legal. Cover off. What else do we get? Got a charger. Uh, let's have a look at this. Be interesting. Oh, it's closed off. So um, I'll open it in a second. Uh, next thing is a battery. Very slim battery. Very slim indeed. Okay. So let me take that out first. Want to give it a good charge initially so it's at the the peak and then as a norm just um, use it to such an extent where it's empty and then you charge it fully again okay we've got the charger open now surprising i thought it'd be a standard one where it's usb and it plugs in but it's not it's attached to a socket I don't really like that to be honest. I think it's good to have it so it comes off, so no biggie though. Okay, nothing else in the packaging. One nicety I think they should have done is really give some headphones with it. Um, I know they're nothing special, but it's always good to get a pair of headphones with a microphone so you can use it as a hands-free kit. So disappointing they don't do this. Um, and I do recall another one we've got, a Moto G3, same thing again, no headphones, so Motorola saw that out. So hang on, if you, if you hang, grab the camera, hold it there, yep, okay, so let me now attempt to open it, so it's a little thing there. Very light phone, I have to admit. I'll compare it to some other uh, phones in a second. So the Moto G. What I notice that uh, th this side is flatter, whereas the Moto, uh, sorry, G3, there was a bit of a curve in there. So, okay, I'll hide some of this, and you've got your obviously your slot for your SIM card. And your micro SD. Yeah, let's see what this was. I guess for just to help lift it up. Battery slots in like that. I've got a SIM card somewhere here, so I think it doesn't take the standard size. Standard size is too big, but it takes the not the nano, the micro. So let's see if I can pull that out. You go. Okay, and SIM card. Oh, let me have a look. Does that move? No, it doesn't, so it looks like from the picture. 
slots in there. There you go. And then the micro SD just slots up there. Okay, get that in there. So the SIM card's in now. I'll take this bit of plastic off. Don't need that. Put the cover on there. Very good weight to it, very light. Let's turn it on for the first time. Okay, it's powering up. Let's see what comes up. Lenovo. Okay, there you go. I guess it's come to a stage where it needs to pick the language. Do you want to take the cover off? Very nice. Okay, so just wanted to compare the two phones. So this is a... Let me... Hang on. So this is a, a G3 and obviously the G4 I guess it's, let me get the screen unlocked just so you can see it while that's being unlocked, let me show it against uh, an S5 the size is literally exactly the same you see, if I hold it, maybe slightly, slightly taller. I like the fact it's flat, you know, so that's one thing I don't like about uh, the G3. You see, it has a slight rocking motion, yeah? and if you notice the back, slightly curved G3 is a good phone but I think I like the fact that this sits flat on the surface okay let's choose the language United Kingdom yep yeah. okay I'm gonna have to skip this because I've got a secure Wi-Fi network I'll do that later on Okay, privacy. Check the software software updates. <clears throat> nope. It's gonna be newly used by someone. So nothing to copy. Okay, Gmail. So we've got a Gmail account. So let me stop recording for a second and enter that in. Okay, we've signed in with the password, just going through the different options now. Payment, no thanks. Okay, configuration has completed and the phone's ready to use. Performance wise, seems pretty good to be honest but the thing to remember is it has just been set up just now so let's see the quality of the camera I'll just take a picture of the mouse so
bit blurry, no biggie to be honest. But generally, got to admit, um, nice phone, good feel to it, good solid feel to it, very light, which is quite surprising. I didn't expect that. If you look carefully, you can see the camera just up here, and you can see a hole for the microphone, which is fine. Um, and there you go. Thanks for viewing.